park that ball. They're taking timeout. That's officials' timeout. They're going to measure. They're going to measure it. Looks to me as if he got it. First down, Redskins. Now they got to get something in a hurry. Well, of course, and that something has to be a touchdown. Down 17 to 13. They need a touchdown. They do have two timeouts left. Here's Rippin. Wheels it outside. Oh, Rippin broke a couple of tackles and finally got out of bounds at about the Eagle 30. Booty knocked him out of bounds. Clock stopped at 102. 19-yard gain. And this is what it's all about. The, the Redskins, Joe Gibbs, one of the great offensive minds in this game. On the, feet, on the Eagles side, Bud Carson, one of the great defensive minds in this game, playing a chess match. With big people and big stakes. And talented people. The winner goes on. Rippin, first and ten. Redskins at the Eagles, 31. Mark Rippin's coming out of there. Rippin's going to take off with it. And he just can't jump quite high enough to get over Rich Miano. He got nine or ten yards. Timeout, Redskins. That's the way quarterbacks play when there's no tomorrow. He's going to jump up over. He can't do that, but he was he was just given everything he had to try and reach that first down marker. That's what he was doing. But I'll tell you who made a heck of a pass rush was Reggie White because he got a push on Rippin. He got his hand up there, and he flushed him out, and he made him do this. He got a pretty good block there. Now, he's just trying to broad jump. He's trying to broad jump, not high jump, but broad jump to a first down. Oh. Well, his hang time wasn't just quite good enough. 17-13 Eagles. Four. Fourth quarter, 48 seconds left. And this, you know, how can your quarterback have a smile on his face? That's the way competitors think. If you're a competitor, you want to be in big games. And you want to be in big games or right at the end. This is what it's all about. These are the great games. This is what makes the NFL. Second and short. The Eagle lead is four. Ripping the throw. Fatted backwards. Simmons, I believe, got the hand up and knocked it away. You and say, he, yeah, Jim Lachey jumped up. We're going to see. Here's Lachey. Clyde Simmons is going to be coming on him. He comes, he pushes him, he pushes him. Now right here, he's going to get his hand up to the inside. He just knocked that ball up in the air. Lachey was looking around for it. Still cheer the crowd. Let's hear some noise, folks. Third and one. And the crowd knows defense. Rippin' again on the quarterback sneak. He'll get the first down, and now the clock is down to 35 seconds left. Timeout, Redskins. And, and I think what Rippin wanted to do was just jump up and stop the clock, but someone else other than Rippin took timeout. He didn't want the timeout. Because what that did is that used up their last time out. So now he has a first down. That's a good news. Down by four, he needs a touchdown, and he only has 35 seconds. The meeting on the sideline with Don Bro and Jim Hannafin, Joe Gibbs in the middle. Well, you know what happens. What they have to be talking about is you can't take a sack. You can't throw the ball inside. Obviously, Joe Gibbs is going to call a play, so he's not going to call a running play. Defense are talking about keeping everything inside, guard the end zone, because they have to throw the ball to the end zone. The winner goes to the playoffs. Think he's not aware of that, and he's not aware of that? I think he's done an outstanding job oh, yeah. with this football team over the last two years, Rich Cotite. He has kept some very strong individuals together on game day at least. Here's Rippin. Incomplete. Intended 
for Ricky Irvin. Jim Hannafin. Rich go type. And the signals coming in from the sideline from Joe Gibbs. Wait a minute. Look, it looks like Joe Gibbs called the play, then he erased it and then changed it. Again, he's going to, he has three more plays. They have to be passes, and they have to be into the end zone. Second down and 10 with 32 seconds left. Rippin going for the corner of the dive by Gary Clark incomplete. Final score, Minnesota 6. Pittsburgh three. Final. And so that means they win the NFC Central. And this year is for the playoffs. Third down. The winners in the playoffs. Third Everyone ten. is yelling defense in Third. Washington the yellow offense. Sanders was a man in motion. Here's Rippin. Going deep, incomplete, and out of the end zone. Clark again, the intended receiver. And Rippon will have one more shot with 21 seconds left. Conceivably, they could get a first down and run another play, but that would be very difficult. The winner goes to the playoff. That says it all. Yep, Joe Gibbs calling the offensive play. We saw a picture of Bud Carson calling the defensive play. Fourth down and ten. This place is shaking. Seconds left on the game clock. And now they've got the sticks moving. They'll start the clock again. Three seconds. Rippin stops it with two seconds left. Wow. What the fans were booing about is that the Redskins didn't have a timeout, but they had to take the time to move the move chains the and spot the ball. The umpire, the guy behind the defense, is in charge of spotting the ball, and he didn't have the ball down there. So didn't they have couldn't the ball start the clock. Or the sticks move, because they did get the first down. Right, they got the first down, and then when he put the ball down, then the, Clarks, the clock started again. Two seconds left. The Redskins with one more play as Rippon got the clock stopped. Second down, and goal at the five. Washington 13. Stay tuned for the NFL Today postgame show. Greg and Terry will have all the scores and highlights. You're watching CBS Sports coverage of the National Football League.